Hey everybody, it's Brian here. Happy Sunday night, July 11th, early Monday, July 12th of 2021. I thought I would like to provide some amazing updates what's going to be happening. So I'm going to explain to you right now. So here goes. I just want to tell you is that I, my mom and I, we're going to be leaving for Toronto this next Friday, July 16th on Friday morning. We're going to be flying on WestJet. And I'm also wanting to tell you that I'm going to be doing my YouTube video of our GO train and also our familiar Bombardier T1 subways on our Bloor Danforth line at St. George Station that I have rode on our Young University Spadina line with um, my Auntie Paula and my mom when I was a kid. And they make very good sounds on the Blur trains. Likewise, I'm also going to do an, altern an alternative route to and from Eaton Center. And I'm looking at on the TTC website. And also looking at um, a temporary route change to CityWorks. So I'm going to show you this right now. So if you look right behind me, so look very carefully. So, I'm going to educate this for you right away. So, this is uh, called the 505 Dundas Temporary Route Change due to city work in Toronto. Bus replacement city work started May 9th, two months ago, until further notice. So, it tells me there's the 505 Dundas route. So, that's in the Dundas West Station. But... If you follow the lines carefully, for example, and the and the map in the middle it says route diversion and also bus replacement. So for those who don't know, you can also find that on the TTC website at ttc.ca. It'll show you route diversions. Now, if you go to the schedules and maps, I'm going to show you the um, streetcar route, so so I'm going to show one of them that I know as well. So if you pull up the maps, I'm going to show it to you right right now. So I just thought I'd show you a little demonstration. So now listen to Brian very carefully. He's going to demonstrate this for you. So. He, so you see our streetcar maps. So it says streetcar maps there. It tells me that where our streetcar route connects to. So right there, there's 511 that goes to Bathurst Station on our Bloor Danforth line. And our transfer station where our Young University Spadina and our Bloor trains go to Spadina Station also meets with uh, 510 Spadina Streetcar. And there's also streetcar routes too, besides College Station on the Young Line, Dundas Station, Queen and King Station on the Young Line. So there's uh, where the 504 is on King Street, 501 Queen on Queen Street, that connects to Osgood Station. And there's also connections that can take you to and from Eaton Center. And here's the fastest way. If you go along from our Ossington Station, directly to St. George Station, Go southbound from St. George Station, passing Museum, Queens Park, and then St. Patrick Station. Take the 505 eastbound from there to the Eaton Center outside Dundas Station. And then go westbound. And then go southbound the same way back. Now that's what I call an alternative. And besides all this, I just want to tell you is, the reason um, I'm going to tell you this positive thing. So... I hope you're listening, so I'm going to remind you very carefully. The reason I love exploring our familiar routes on the TTC where I used to go to with my Auntie Paula my, and my mom a very long time ago, this is um, a very long history. It brings me back to the good old days since I was very young and before and after I moved here. I have taken the subway at... Ossington's at uh, Ossington Station on our Bloor Danforth line um, when I used to live in Hamilton and before and after 
I moved here to Edmonton, Alberta when I was very when I was between 10 and 11. So I have demonstrated at Ossington Station, Dufferin Station, Christie, Bathurst, Bloor Young Station, Bay Station, St. George Station along with uh, Spadina Station. Most importantly folks, um, I just thought I would like to tell you that I hope to do some elevator videos too so you might um, see one of my favorite elevator videos so I hope to get a chance to film some of the northern um, ThyssenKrupp Northern elevators and one of the Parkade elevators at the Toronto Pearson Airport, airport so my mom and I we may be renting a car and driving over to my Auntie Paula's place in Waterdown. And, and I gotta tell you, her place, my Auntie Paula's place is not too far from Aldershot Station. It's very close, so I'm gonna take the GO train on Monday morning from Aldershot Station to Union Station. And also while I'm exploring um, not just the downtown Toronto, I'm gonna pick up some snacks for the road trip uh, on the way to Timmins too for my grandma's burial. Um, funeral you might say so we're not going to be there very long just for a couple days so and the positive thing too here's my favorite recommendation whenever you go on the TT go on the subway and the streetcar I 99.9% .9 I recommend when you go to on the subway at our Ossington station if you get the 510 visit Spadina station it's it's the quickest way it's the same place where my auntie Paul and I have been to now the positive thing is that I have my very own presto smart fare card that I got four years ago so my presto card is a ticket to get on the go train the go bus our HSR bus routes in Hamilton including our subway stations before I border Toronto Rocket Sub or T1 Subways at St. George Station as well as Ossington Station. I can also get our Toronto Rocket Subways at Union Station and that quick quickly gets me to St. George Station at the same time. 99.9% I still know the rules and 110.99% I always remember that it's important I stay against the wall in the middle of the platform behind the yellow line and I can also use alternative routes on the TTC safely. And as a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, whenever if you uh, take the GO train, the GO bus, on our Lakeshore route in Ontario on, on travels, if you're going from here in Edmonton, Alberta, always remember if you were me, always go during the day. It's a safe and smart thing to do. Always watch out for yourself and other people. That's my advice. And most importantly, you could use alternative, alternate routes on the TTC in Toronto in the downtown area to our familiar places too. Not just the subway, but there's lots of alternate ways. YouTubers, thank you for this amazing update. July 12, 2021.